Good afternoon everyone, I'm meteorologist David Jones with another YouTube Heads Up. Today's video is an update on the big change in the pattern highlighted yesterday. Here's a look at the impressive and enormous low pressure system covering much of the northeastern Pacific Ocean. Multiple weather systems are swirling around the parent low, and many of these storms will move on shore in the next few days. This is the weather map for this afternoon. In addition to the big low offshore, the Arctic front lies along this zone of tightly packed isobars. The rain has already spread to the south coast with the first weak storm, but the second storm, set to move on shore overnight, will bring increasing winds. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a special weather statement for southeast winds to 70 km per hour, just below the wind warning criteria, along the east and west coasts of Vancouver Island. The warmer Pacific air moving in aloft may also result in a brief period of freezing rain over the Caribou, Chilcotin, and or the 100 mile house region late this afternoon or evening. The low will weaken but persist into Friday. Moisture from the Pacific storms will overrun the Arctic air producing good snowfalls across the central interior. A trough of low pressure will linger back over the southeast corner of the province ensuring that precipitation will be frequent. Snowfall warnings have been issued for the Peace and Williston regions and may be extended to the McGregor region in Orange. And in fact, the low and trough will persist right through the weekend, so the high alpine snowpacks will be much deeper by next week. Here's the six-day forecast for Vancouver. The freezing level will drop to about 1,500 meters behind the next two systems, and by Sunday it will be hovering near 1,000 meters. In terms of the total rainfall through Sunday, higher elevations of the North Shore and Howe Sound may receive as much as 150 millimeters of rain. Note that when the freezing level drops to 1,000 meters Sunday, the precipitation eases. Some of the mountain ranges will be hit by heavy snow through this period. Here's the forecast for Creston in the Kootenays. The freezing level, now falling, will gradually rise to 2,000 meters. So at the Paulson Summit and Kootenay Pass, the snow will likely turn to rain briefly on Saturday. Across the highest peaks in the area, this graph suggests over 30 centimeters of snow is possible by late Saturday, with potential for more snow Sunday after the freezing level falls again. Looking at the big picture, here's a look at the forecast of total accumulated snow from right now through Friday afternoon. The yellow shades near the Peace Country indicate more than 15 centimeters of snow. Further south, and as per yesterday, the Columbias, Selkirks, and Monashies, and the mountains of the West Kootenays may see over 20 centimeters of snow. On the coast, north of Vancouver, huge snowfalls of over 75 centimeters are possible at the highest elevations by Friday. And if we skip ahead and further add the snow forecast through Sunday afternoon, total four-day snowfalls of over 30 centimeters are possible in the north, over 30 to 50 centimeters across the aforementioned interior ranges, and at the highest elevations in the South Coast Mountains, the snowpack may increase by as much as 150 centimeters by next week. That's it for today's Heads Up. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.